Today is November 5th. Pastors say to us, same God, same testimonies. Our opening scripture comes from the book of Acts chapter 5, verse 15. Insomuch that they brought forth the sick into the streets and laid them on beds and couches, that at the least the shadow of Peter passing by might overshadow some of them. The Bible tells us in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8, Jesus Christ the same yesterday and today and forever. Some have wondered if what we read of Peter in the opening verse above is still possible in our day. Absolutely. We see the same miracles and testimonies today because it's the same God. The Bible says handkerchiefs and aprons that had touched Paul's body were placed on the sick and the diseases departed from them and the evil spirits went out of them, Acts chapter 19, verse 12. Similarly, we've received countless testimonies of how this very devotion you are reading, Rhapsody of Realities, was placed on the sick and even the dead, and there were miracles. The sick got healed, and the dead were raised back to life. This has happened multiple times in different parts of the world, because this material is from God. Think about the story of a lady whose husband had died. She said to someone, I heard that when people use Rhapsody of Realities, they raise the dead in your church. Please come with a copy to the hospital. My husband is dead. The lady whom she had called took a copy of Rhapsody to the hospital and placed it on the dead body. And the man came back to life. Hallelujah. You can immediately see the similarity between this and the story of the woman with the issue of blood in Luke chapter 8, verses 43 to 48, she heard, and because she heard, she pushed her way through a teeming crowd to touch the hem of Jesus' garment and was healed instantly. The difference is the book of Rhapsody of Realities is a far better repository of the power of God in that it contains God's word that you can study again and again rather than the handkerchiefs or aprons on which nothing is written. Praise God. Please say this confession with me. I'm a carrier of the blessing. Everything that's connected to me is blessed, grows, and multiplies. I'm a dispenser of the Lord's goodness to my world. The extension and manifestation of His manifold graces to all those I come in contact with today. In Jesus' name, amen. For further study, please read Acts chapter 19, verses 11 to 12, Acts chapter 5, verse 15 of the Message Bible, and Matthew chapter 14, verses 35 to 36. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read Hebrews chapter 4, verses 14 to chapter 5, verses 1 to 10 and Jeremiah chapters 44 to 47. For the two-year Bible reading plan, please read 1 Peter chapter 3, verses 1 to 12, and Ezekiel chapter 36. Rhapsody of reality.